Good morning, everybody. Dr. Jason coming to you with another Wellness Way quick tip. Uh, joined today again with Mel of Mel Lauren Fitness, and today we're going to be talking about... We are going to be talking about strategy and resistance training and some of the misconceptions specifically for females mm -hmm. that are out there. One of my favorites personally is women. If you lift weights, you're going to bulk up and look like a dude. Yes. My personal favorite. And, and I would be a living example of the dude that you would turn into. Yep. So I understand your worries. Yes. <laughs> no, but really, um, so I like to preface that when I'm talking on my channel, um, I, I really go into state story and strategy, mm -hmm. but then I kind of veer towards the state and story, mostly because um, I feel like a lot of times you can just go online and find a strategy to lose weight and sure. get fit. There's a bunch out there, and so I like to focus on, you know, why aren't you able to do it? What's keeping you um, from being motivated? Um, what's keeping you from reaching your goals? Sure. But with that being said, I also want to say that no matter how motivated you are, no matter if you have everything in alignment, if your strategy isn't correct, you still won't reach those goals, right. no matter how much you want it. Right. So that's why I really thought it would be a good idea to talk about the strategy of resistance training and females and why some females might not necessarily be getting the results that they want. Right. Even though the information's out there, I still see it all the time. Sure. Um, the main thing that I want to talk about is how much weight we're lifting. So like he was saying, Jason was saying, women feel like, you know, if they lift too much, they're going to get big and bulky, yep. but that's just not true. Right. The only way you're going to put on any kind of muscle is if you really challenge the muscle with a good amount of weight and probably a lot more than you think mm -hmm. that you need. Yeah, because you could lift and move a lot more than you think. Right. Right, frankly. And you're not going to turn into an Arnold Schwarzenegger overnight, and women... Um, it's hard for us to put on muscle, period. We, mm -hmm. we just don't have the hormones to support um, that kind of build. Right. I mean, it's genetic. Some women have a little bit more, yeah. um, but most women are not going to put on much muscle. Unless you're putting in synthetic hormones, yes. you're not going to... Yeah, so there are some things on the internet where you'll see women with very big muscles, but usually, I mean, mm -hmm. they are lifting a lot. They are in the doing gym, it six they, hours like a it's day. their job. Yeah. They're eating a massive amount. I mean, they are their strategy is how big can I get? Yeah. And a lot of times yeah. that strategy involves not natural things. Right, and that's their life is that. They're not living a life and then also right. trying to be fit and in shape. Yes. So I think, um, so I lift pretty darn heavy for a female. So I kind of wanted to for go a girl. over for a girl. <laughs> I lift a lot for a girl. Um, <laughs> but I kind of want, I figured today would be a good day to kind of go over what I mean by lifting a little bit heavier. Right. So one thing I want to say is a good amount to lift is going to be something that's really challenging that you can lift anywhere between six and 12 times mm -hmm. is a really good range sure. to be lifting. So if you can lift a weight, 15, 20, 25 times. Um, way too late. Way too late. It's not going to be doing anything. So the word toning doesn't necessarily mean anything. Um, toning doesn't mean lighter weight, and then you're going to get toned. Right. To get toned, you need to lift heavy to see any kind of result and to put on any Tone kind of muscle. Toning means essentially the muscle is growing and giving you some definition. Right. That's it. Yes, so it doesn't mean lift heavy. Yes, yeah. so you have to lift heavy to do that. Yep. To look toned, you need to lift heavy weights. Exactly. But it also depends on what muscles we're working. True so story. today, um, I've got some 15 pounders. Well, actually, I'm going to give these to you. I don't know if you can handle those. Yeah. <laughs> um, so right. let's say you're doing, right. um, so these are 15 pounds. It's going to be relative too. So how long you've been lifting, how strong you are, you're going to progressively get stronger. Very. Right. Very. So 15 pounds, say you're doing bicep curls. So go ahead and do some bicep curls. Now this 15 pounds might be very, very heavy for your biceps. You might only be able to eat out a few. Um, but... Just keep going. <laughs> See you in an hour, people. Such a show off. Should we wait till he fatigues out? No. no um, <laughs> so, but the thing is, is he's working biceps. Now they're one of the smaller muscle groups in the body. So they are going to fatigue out with lighter weight. But here's the thing. I talk to people, I do online training. I talk to people and they only have like tens or, you know, smaller muscle or, or smaller the weights. Or the five, yeah. yeah, or the threes or the fives, you know, the yep. really cute pink ones. And um, those might be okay for something like your biceps, but then they're using those same weights for their back. Right. So say they're doing a row with that 15 pound weight, um, that's probably not gonna be enough to fatigue out that muscle. So again, the biceps are sm small. Especially mine. Yeah, 
his are really small. But then if you turn around and you see the back, there you go. So this is all of the muscles that you are going to be working. That you're going to need a lot more weight to challenge because, uh, first of all, it's not one muscle. There's a lot of muscles there. But the move that you're going to be using to challenge these muscles is going to be more than what you would need to challenge your biceps. You can turn back around. That's all I had. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, that's the main gist of it. So some of the smaller muscles are going to be biceps, um, mm -hmm. triceps, shoulders. So a lot of the arm muscles are going to be smaller, but if you get more into the torso, like the chest, the back, and the lower body, you're probably going to need a lot more weight. Right. So whether you have small dumbbells for the arms and shoulders, um, you could maybe do some body weighted stuff to hit mm -hmm. like push-ups, pull-ups, squats, but even that, like if you've been doing it for a while, you are probably still going to need a little more resistance yep. to keep on challenging and changing your body. Sure. And, and the big thing there is it's not like it's saying go from zero to 50. Right. It's gradually work yourself up. So if, let's say, uh, barbell is 45 pounds. They have women's barbells designed at 35 pounds. Right. If you just start with that and then gradually working up to working more right. weight. But get to the point where, like you said, the number of reps, 6 to right. 12, to where the last couple are a struggle, right. that's where the real change comes in. Yeah, and if you can do, say you're doing, you know, three sets of 12, and then in a week or two you're doing three sets of 15 with that same weight, yep. then you know it is time and to move up with the weights. It's really simple, mm -hmm. and it's relative. Yep. So, again, you know, I don't like to give people specific weight for their biceps or certain exercises because it depends on where you're at and you are going to find out that you're going to get stronger and that's how you decide, okay, do I need to go get some heavier weights? Is it time to yeah. move up a little bit? Yeah, because you can start doing more stuff. And the point of all this really is increased function, function of living, right. really. Because when we talk about things like bicep curls or going up overhead or picking stuff up, that's the muscles we really want to challenge because we need to pick up our laundry baskets, right. we need to squat down to pick up groceries, we need to put stuff up on that the really shelves. That was really good form. So, thank you. <laughs> I'm very happy with that form. So, but, you know, when it comes to someone who's really in the gym hitting it hard in fitness, right. or if it's grandma at home carrying kitty litter into right. the house, we need functionality. We need different right. limits or different amounts, but we still need functionality. We need functionality, and I always want to go back and just remind people, like you were saying, it's not like zero to 60. Yep. So if you lift weights, you're not going to all of a sudden have big, giant weights. Like, mm -hmm. you can lift and lift and lift, and you will slowly, very, very, very slowly start to put on muscle. Yep. So you don't really have to worry about getting too big. Right. Because you're, you're going to be seeing yourself, and it's not going to happen overnight. Yep. You'll see your muscles grow, and then, you know, if you're like, oh, I'm good, I'm happy here, then you can turn, you know, go more towards a maintenance program. Yep, and the biggest thing there is, especially, this is something I run into with gaining muscle all the time, is that the scale goes up right. before it goes down. Right. Your fitness, your health, and everything goes up before the scale goes down. Mm -hmm. So make sure that, ideally, avoid it. I always go by how are your clothes fitting, are you feeling healthier, are you feeling stronger, not stepping on the scale and saying, oh, I went up three pounds even though I'm feeling so much better, right. I better stop and jump back on the treadmill. And with that, muscle does, you know, take up less space, but it weighs mm -hmm. the same amount. So, like, you could weigh the same amount and get leaner yep. by lifting weights, though, too. Yeah. So you'll get that tightness, that tone that you're looking for, just think of it as kind of it's cinching you in. It's not ex really what's happening, yeah, but it is, the muscle tighter. is heavy, mm -hmm. and, it's, and it's going to weigh a little bit more, but it's going to take up less room, and it's, yeah. it's more tight. So and that's, that's Yeah, I always go by how are your clothes fitting is my first question. Right, right. Clothes are fitting better, clothes are fitting looser, progress is being had, and stick with it. As Keep long as you're clothes. not wearing only workout yoga pants, because then yeah. it's a little bit harder to yeah. smell. Yeah, so. check the jeans. <laughs> I, I laugh at some of the people that come in and say, well, I put two more belt loops in, or I had to, you know, I'm back in the jeans I wore eight years ago and all this stuff, and you're like, good, you're welcome. Yeah. Okay, you can also go buy a new belt. Right. Right, buy some smaller jeans, but I don't want to spend the money. Do it anyway. Yeah, and the, <laughs> uh, the other thing I just want to quick mention, too, is you can't spot reduce, but the cool thing about weightlifting is you can isolate certain muscles. Mm -hmm. So if you are... You know, obviously there's the functionality, but there's also the aesthetics, which is important yep. because that's a great motivation to 
keep sure. yourself going to the gym. You can isolate certain areas and you know if you want to work on your tush, you can work a little, that's the technical term, it is. tush. It's in the, um, it's in the book. Um, if you want guns, I mean you can spend a little more time and work on that. Mm -hmm. So you can um, kind of sculpt yourself the way you want, which is yeah. kind of cool, which you can't necessarily do with weight loss alone. Yeah. And you don't have to do it all in one day. No. Pick an area of your body, work on it one day, a couple days later, come back, pick a different area, rotate through to keep challenging different systems so that you get the most gains, essentially, for the work you're putting in. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. So one thing I always want to mention is because, like you said, great, great form on my squat. Um, make sure that we're always, whether it is putting stuff up over your head or picking stuff off the floor, whatever you're doing, make sure to make your core as strong as possible. Yeah. I always talk about whether it's a squat, whether it's a deadlift, whether it's running. Every exercise we do is a core exercise. Right. You have to engage your core with everything to make sure that you're stabilizing your spine and protecting your health. Absolutely. Yep, that's super important. Yes. Now, where can we find your stuff? Oh, well, you can check me out. I'm on Facebook, Mel Lauren Fitness. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you can go to my website. It's mellaurenfitness.com, and you can check me out at both of those locations. There you go. Yep. All right. And outside of that, guys, uh, enjoy the rest of your Saturday. If you have any questions, shoot them on over. Uh, usually with setups like these, we can't really answer them on the air. So when yeah. uh, we get your questions, we'll shoot you some replies and Absolutely. hopefully help you out there. And outside of that, have a great day. Yeah, lift heavy. There you go. <laughs> Bye.